95% of the dogs that come in through the New York City shelter system are pit bulls or pit bull mixes. Unfortunately, most of this is due to ignorance and people not understanding the breed. Most people who own a pit bull don't realize what they're getting into when they own a pit bull. Personally, they are my favorite breed. I've been a pit bull owner for more than 12 years and have nothing but good things to say about the breed. I will say that they are not for everybody, but with proper understanding and proper care, they can be wonderful dogs for most people. Um, pit bulls require very specialized training. They have a very high energy level. And if your lifestyle fits that, then they would be an excellent dog for you. It's a shame to see how many of these dogs are unfortunately in the New York City shelters, most between the ages of six months and two years, purely because people did not realize the needs of the dog. Not so much for anything the dog necessarily did. Unfortunately, pit bulls have gotten a bad rap there at the moment. The dog that's uh, being sensationalized in the media and the reason why sensationalism sells good newspapers um, but you know the other reason why is uh, right now they that's the dog that they've chosen to place a lot of attention on the truth is that there's just as many dog bites with other dogs other dog attacks with other dogs as there is with pit bulls in all my years of rescue the one breed that I've never been bitten by is a pit bull the CDC gathers information basically that's provided to them by the hospitals uh, regarding dog bites and the three top dog biters are Golden Retriever, Black Lab, and a Chihuahua. So they're not even in the top three. Not to say that they're not all, that they're all perfect, but it's all how they're trained. And if you train your, your pit bull to be a loving animal, it's in their nature to be your best friend. Good boy, Raga. Good boy. I adopted Raga uh, six years ago from the Humane Society in Eugene, Oregon. I, you know, I really had no experience with pit bulls at all, but had understood that there was kind of a conception about them that they were an ag this aggressive breed of some sort. Um, I have experienced the complete opposite with Raga. He has been like one of the most amazing animals that I've ever met. I've worked with him with um, abused children in residential treatment facilities and he has come along with me through all of my travels and everywhere and you know he's he's a true lover he he honestly wouldn't wouldn't hurt a fly and they're great dogs they're very easy to train they're very um, compatible with children and you know just fit in great with families the misconception about pit bulls is their ferociousness or their aggressiveness and I've owned four or five dogs in my life, they've all been pit bulls. And I can definitely say, with the right training and the right discipline, you can have a happy, healthy dog. The commitment to training would definitely be exercise, and the willingness to definitely exercise them, definitely discipline, know what's good, know what's bad. And you know, if you choose to have a dog, you need to take the responsibility of owning a dog and take your dog out on walks, not keeping him you know, alone, isolated. I think that that's how we end up with animals that are aggressive. If you treat an animal aggressively, they're obviously gonna act out in that way the same way as if you treat a child aggressively, they're gonna act out in that way too. So Raga, his experience with me has been very gentle and loving, and so he has become gentle and loving. So all living organisms learn in the same way, whether you're a poodle, a pit bull, a rat, a monkey, a human being, the the four quadrants of learning theory work on all living organisms. And so it is no harder or different to train a pit bull than it is any other kind of dog. They're very easily trainable. Sit. Sit. They're very willing to be trained. Raga, come. Sit. With that, if you treat them with respect and you give them the exercise and the activity and the focus and the training that they need, they'll be the most rewarding dog you'll ever own. Uh, I love them. They're my favorite dog. They're beautiful. They come in every color and shape. And uh, I don't think I'll ever own anything besides a pit bull. <laughs>